I'll tell you what, we'll move, we'll move on to, uh, I suppose, an interesting story that came out in the last few days from uh, Sheep YouTube. Farmers. <laughs> Says you, not me. So I, I'm, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna steer away from uh, from from that comment. I'm looking. I'm looking at my list there. I'm looking at my list there. This these are stuff you told me to say. So <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll we'll keep that keep that on the wraps, you know. Uh, but anyway, Eugene Brannigan coming out there with a with an inter an interesting interview. It was obviously voted club footballer of the year. I don't think anyone can deny how good of a of a footballer he was for. Kill Q this year as they landed their first ever All Ireland Senior Club football championship was certainly a, a brilliant year for Kill Q, Make no mistake about it. But he was obviously speaking, um, obviously after after winning the uh, winning the award, and just to quote just to quote him here very briefly, he says, "At the end of the day, for us, it's all about winning. It's not about uh, going and getting beaten. That's no good for us. If they're going and winning." We're happy if they're becoming better players, but if we think it's putting them back, we don't want them like that. So you know, an interesting point of view there from Eugene Brannigan. He's obviously saying, you know, the 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 attitude isn't there, the mentality isn't yeah. there, the winning culture isn't there. But at the same time, like how, how you know, you know, if you're if if four, five, six players are like, no, no, we don't want to go in because you know the culture is bad, all the rest. Why not go in? And if you're winners and you know all the rest, then make the culture good. You know, you know what I mean. Like it, it yeah, it's almost it, it, belief in, yeah, yeah. It's it's almost like if you're in a in a job that's you know really bad and you, and you, and you don't like it, and you're thinking about going to another job, and then you're like, oh, well, I don't want to get another job because this one's really bad, so that one will be really bad. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's mm. it's an interesting point of view. Yeah, look, it is, and I suppose it's 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 timely, timely stuff. This, and I know Barry O'Hagan done an interview, I think, with the examiner. I don't know, did you see it? And he was kind of saying that, you know, the Taunton Cup's not really working and playing. And so, look, it's it's all this high kind of needs to be put into perspective. And like, as well as that, you know, down were pummeled on Saturday. You know, they're ragdolled against uh <laughs> against against Monaghan. So look, I think I think the timing of it is very, very bad. Down football's in the absolute dirt at the minute. Uh, you know, so I think the time is bad, you know, for Brannigan to come out and say that it's just bad stuff, bad hearings. I think it's 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 all well and good him kind of saying that to an interviewee saying, Oh yeah, God, this is what's wrong. These lads are coming in. Go and do something about it. Improve your county. Don't be throwing the toys out of the pram. If you have stuff to say, get involved. Don't be sitting on a high chair or a place at Crow Park and talking about it. You know, down football's like a mess. They could really be doing with the Kiku lads. I know, I know Paul Devlin as well. He's no really interest in going in. So I know maybe from the top to bottom, down football is a bit of a mess. But I think it's it's like you said. I know the Niall Kane, the keeper, has gone in and he's doing well with down. But I just think you need to. There's no point in insulting thing or going at something if you're not involved yourself. Go in, mm -hmm. as you say, improve it. Get involved, get your voice heard, improve standards of training. And the down lads, or sorry, the Kiku boys would be an absolutely unbelievable addition to that down team. None of them really committed. The Brannigan boys didn't commit. Uh, to, to do, I don't think Jerome Johnson was even in. His brother, uh, what you call him, that looks like Louis Suarez, can't think of his name. Um, and then who's the other fella? Paul Devon. So, you know, some of the boys can come in. So it's all well and good saying X, Y, and Z. Get involved, boys. Don't be given out, you know. So I know, don't get me wrong, Kiku is very successful. I know, like, if you go into the down setup, maybe standards aren't as good as Kiku. But look, I don't know. It's it's very hard to kind of be passing, passing much remarks or something or giving out about something when you're not getting involved yourself. So it's uh, probably disappointing com comments from uh, Mr. Brannigan. And it kind of seems like, you know, us against the world kind of stuff going on with Kiku and the ins and outs of that. And but... No, it's just, it's bad time with them comments, especially after getting the job in, in the Ulster Senior Football Championship. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting one, but I mean, the commitment is a lot, obviously, like going and, and playing, you know, all, all year with Kilku, obviously going all the way to, you know, going all the way through down, going all the way through Ulster, then going all the way through the all Ireland. There's a lot of games and a lot of commitment, no doubt about it. And but it you is don't... But yeah. you don't say like like I never want to commit to the down football. Like if if a young lad sees that on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like what hope does that give them for the future? Like a lad maybe mm. trying to make the break from the down county team. I just think the time is horrendous. It's very strong words by Brannigan. I think he probably really. I think he was too honest. Maybe I think it was just a bit much. I know we keep saying that down football is a mess at the minute, and they had the training weekend in Dublin. Some of the lads went on the beer. McCartan left the WhatsApp group, and it's all up in the air at the minute. But just I think. 
what's that saying? Improve the noise instead of adding to the noise, improve the noise and just oh look, it's it's not great soundings. And um I just I think Brannigan, I'd say Brannigan's probably getting a lot of uh a lot of scratchy heads in the last couple of days. A, a few messages are coming to it into his phone after them comments because I think it was a bit too much. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting one, all right, because you know, very you under- final comments, very final comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah like you un- you understand this point of view, and look, if he feels that way, that's perfectly fine. Like yeah. you know, and if a lot of the Kill Q lads feel that way, that's perfectly fine. Like they don't have to, they don't have to play. No one's putting a gun to their head or anything like that. You know, if people don't want to play, don't want to play. It's an amateur mm. sport, so that's perfectly fine. But yeah, just you know, it's almost like there's an open fire there, and someone's gone and decided to piss on it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, do you know that way? Like it, it you know, like it's it's. <laughs> you know like like it, it, it's just it I, for me it's just a bit too a bit too harsh a bit too harsh you know yeah <laughs> that's a brilliant one um look i just think when you're seeing articles on twitter and facebook and like the G, the official ga website tweeted saying darren brannigan is, is it darren brannigan aaron brannigan what brannigan there's so many yeah, of them. eugene brannigan eugene yeah, yeah, brannigan a, a, a lot of them yeah yeah. It's more, 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 uh, more Brannigans than bloody Kardashians. Um, but no, it's um, it, it, when they, oh, the official GEA account is tweeting saying Eugene Brannigan has absolutely no interest. L- young lads are going to see yeah, that. Yeah. Paint a better picture for them. How the God, like, like Conor Gilligan is involved with the Q lads. How there wasn't some bit of meat, right lads, you're going up to Crow Park, sorry Eugene, can you maybe not say X, Y, and Z? It just seemed like, oh, go on up to Crow Park, Eugene, and say what you like. Surely there's that bit of professionalism within the, mm-hmm. the Q camp. The Conley Gilligan is an off-the-ball, he's on BBC, he's a well, well versed fella. Maybe the wheels have fallen off the truck a bit in Q after maybe Mickey Moore leaving, you wouldn't know, but uh, no, a bit too honest for my liking. I think the standards are probably very low at the minute. I know O'Hagan, Barry O'Hagan was saying about the Todd Cup, fair enough, but Christ... Like you, you want to, you want to kind of get the ship back flowing, you know, get bet by money in the championship, and just the sound that's coming from that camp at the minute is just horrendous. But uh, no, that interview is going to spark a lot of debate for the next couple of weeks, big man. Yeah, and, and like I feel like we we kill Q in general, like, and th- there's almost been this thing like in the past you know a couple of years and and in particular this year as well where it's almost kill q against the rest of the world and i yeah. feel like this this just ignites that way more as well do you know what i mean like i feel like a lot of, and a lot of people are going to be against kill q now as well and not like them and try and discredit them and for me it just brings a whole load of pressure and a whole load of nonsense really that just wasn't wasn't needed, needed. you know you know he, you he don't could, say this though like it's yeah yeah like he could he could openly come out and just say look at the minute down isn't for me i don't you know but but, but I would love to, you know, maybe, maybe you know, down won't be me for in the future, but it would be great to yeah. see the county progress, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah talk yeah, nonsense. Like, sorry, yeah. Aaron, sorry, but no, but just talk. Like, it, it, but I keep saying it, and like, Jesus Christ, what, like, maybe some lads don't have filters, but like, when your county is pummeled down at Clonus on Saturday in the Ulster Championship, the championship you want to be in, the championship you want to be winning, two, three days later, I, I have no intentions of playing for down. Like, yeah. Uh, like Einstein wouldn't like Christ best and save us like and then away you can say about the Talbot Cup like like what the hell is going on up there like it's hmm. you see more I, professionalism in a B team yeah and I understand down of they're obviously a, a huge you know county in terms of history in terms of tradition of what they've done in the All Ireland I think they're they're either joint with Toronto for the most All Ireland wins or they're they're up there one or the other anyway they're either one or two or, or i think even Cavan might be in the conversation as well believe it or not from all the uh from all the dodgy all orleans you won <laughs> in, the, in in the 30s and the 40s um, 50s 60s yeah but no look no it, it is bad it is bad like and i know okay we don't want to go in a rabbit hole you don't want to dwell on it too much but it's it's poor the way it's it's, it's came across it's created a lot of debate on Twitter. I know a lot of Cross McGinn lads are kind of getting involved with it because obviously Cross, the like, Kiku is probably aspiring to be in a Cross. But look, the sound is very bad from it. Um, I'm presuming Conor Gilligan won't be a happy man the way that interview was conducted. Uh, the manager of the Kiku team. Brannigan probably doesn't really care. I don't even know if he's on social media. He might be away from it all. They're probably just sheared sheep up there and looking after themselves and have a few points. But uh, no, it's it's not great AP and it doesn't serve the future of Down Football very well. Young lads looking at that article why the, like a 10 11 12 year old to even 15 like and maybe getting an underage down like why like from kiku why are you bothering your arse nearly and that's probably from the whole of down because it's just oh, i don't know it's it sparked a lot of debate but um no it's it's poor stuff 
Yeah, Sierra Nash Gaming here says uh, Down and Cavan have the same in relation to All-Irelands there. So, Serious tradition. So there, Serious there, tradition. There you go, yeah. there you go. Uh, he also says, I've got questions, Kill Q. Win the All-Ireland Club, but Down can't win a logical amount of games in the All-Ireland and Alliance. Really, I find the issue is yeah. that club, fo- club football is favoured towards more than county football. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's, that's, that's it, you know, isn't it? Club football just seems to be way bigger there. At yeah. the minute, and you can under- understand so obviously given what they what they've achieved, but at the same time, I don't think there should be a reason to to completely um to completely just put down down what you know what I mean. Like, sorry for the for the pun there. <laughs> down 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 down. That's some tune. Um, oh. It is some tune. Did you ever hear that one? Actually, it's brilliant. Down, yeah, is that down. Rihanna? Is it? Rihanna, I'm not sure it's Rihanna, big man. No, we, we, we talk about that in WhatsApp. Um, <laughs> but um, look, down football, geez, I've gone off, Chase, Joe, you know, when you go off trail, you're about to make a really good point and then it goes off. What was it again we were talking about? Oh, stop. Cheers, there's a brain fire. What were we talking about there, down? I, I think just about the fact that a lot of the yeah. down fans, down people are probably maybe more interested, more in intrigued in the club football than the county. And obviously it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. when the county isn't doing well, you know. Yeah, no, look, a hundred percent. But like, I think it, like, with the down, like with the queue and bits and pieces like that, the, the emphasis on that. But you would feel sorry for kind of James McCarthy and all this because obviously, look at he got them to the 2010 All Ireland final, hung out to dry probably in the last couple of weeks. The soundings aren't great coming from the camp. He took the job because they were stuck realistically. I know Aidan Rourke's there too. So look, it's um, it's it's harsh stuff up, up there at the minute. I think there's a few complaints about the down chairman at the minute. I don't think he's kind of getting the ship in the right direction either. So. Um, it's a pity where it's at because we keep saying about the tradition down has and uh, there's not much of a tr- tradition at the minute. Thank you very much for watching this clip of the very most recent podcast uploaded on the channel. If you do enjoy this content, please leave a like and subscribe so you're notified every time I do drop uh, a new upload. And it does very much help the channel grow and help the channel uh, reach more people. So I very much would appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the video. You can also follow the uh, page on Instagram and you can also follow on Facebook, Twitter, Spotify. You can follow on all social media platforms as well. So if you're not already followed over there, go over there and give the page a follow to help the channel grow as well so i do very much appreciate anyone tuning in and i'll see you all later